You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hello, good morning. Welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. It's another rainy day here in London. And it's a great day to talk about podcasts. My name is Paul. And I'm Rob. <laughs> and you're listening to episode number 362. Well, you know, I, I just couldn't do that. I couldn't be that low-key all day long. Like, no, oh, you couldn't. Yes. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, we would I all could not think that. that something was wrong with you anyway. There is so. something wrong. Um, well, anyway, that's true. <laughs> guys, welcome to another uh, awesome <laughs> episode of Astro and You. My name is Paul. Rob is here. Yep. What number episode are we listening to, Rob? Well, if you must know, it's 362. It is 362. And there and is... Oh. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, but we've been getting a couple of questions about when we're going to announce the annual membership winner. That's my bad, because I've got to accumulate the the population of people that are going to be drawn from, and I haven't done that yet, but we will do that very, very soon, I promise. I think that is a good job. And maybe we'll just do something on Periscope rather than waiting to... I don't when, know. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. Or Facebook, Periscope, something like that, and we'll announce it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Sweet. Anyway, guys, welcome to the show. Lots of news in today. Um, and Nevada will be testing the E-Hang drone. If you saw it at NAB, it was the drone that two people could fit inside of. Um, and it was a quadcopter. Uh, it's pretty and they, cool. are, they are saying drone taxis are, are hit, becoming a thing. Honestly. It's like the Jetsons. You know the, the cartoon, The Jetsons? Do you. Yes, Rob, I know the Jetsons. I'm surprised you know about the Jetsons. Well, no, that's ridiculous. That's when I was a kid. Well, the, that's weird. That's when I was a kid. Wow. They've just been around for, <laughs> for ages. a long time. Lots of stank. Do you know the Jetsons? So wow. I, the intern <laughs> does not know the Jetsons. Are we you have... serious? <laughs> I, I know of them. You know of them? Never, George? Never Never in my era, he says. Well, wow. That's true. I mean, anyway, that's let, because he's going to be living it as opposed to watching it. That is true. Anyway, they're testing out this new drone. I you, don't you, think you're it's skeptical. a good idea. You're skeptical. Yeah, there's no points of redundancy on that. I mean, there would have to be. What do you mean there are no? Well, okay. If you lose it, if you lose your motor on a plane, you can still land the plane. If you have a critical failure on a helicopter, you can still go into auto rotation and attempt to land the helicopter. It's not going to be a very nice landing whatsoever, mm -hmm. but it can still happen. Cool. Um, a drone, on the other hand, once it loses a motor, it's on a flippy floppy. <laughs> nice little roller coaster ride to the ground. Just wanted to say flippy floppy. <laughs> flippy floppy. <laughs> Makes um, you think of the lake. But uh, yes, it does. And it is true, though. I mean, it is 100% true that there are very few points of redundancy. I have my questions. I have my doubts. But I will say this. I'm glad they're testing it. I just hope they're not testing it over the strip. I would imagine they're not, <laughs> number one. So, But the question is, and we'll ask you this question as well. Sam, would you get in it as part of the test? Nope. Right now, today, if you had the opportunity. Absolutely not. And you no. know why? Because there's no controls in there. It's fully autonomous. Yep. Zero, uh, no way. No way. No way. <laughs> That's fair. I, I probably wouldn't either. Well, um, anyway, let's get to today's question because it's a boring one. And uh, it's not a boring one. It's actually <laughs> it very, is not a boring question. Very it's actually difficult. a good question. Yes. And it's about the solo. So let's get into today's question brought to you by. Are you a drone pilot? Are you operating under a Section 333 exemption? Then you may be familiar with Item 27, which requires you to get a property release for every flight over property. Legal Flyer is an app for iPhone and iPad that helps you create professional property releases in less time than it takes to do a pre-flight check. You can add your pilot info, you can sign in, hand it to the property owner for their signature. But wait a second. Legal Flyer's advanced integration automatically adds latitude, longitude, and even altitude. Then add a panorama straight from the app. Everything drops into a single page PDF you can share with a single tap. It's compliance at light speed. Visit LegalFlyer.com for more information or get it straight from the app store. Legal Flyer, property releases for professional drone pilots. This is Rich from Mississippi. Rob and Paul, thanks for sharing your individual and corporate expertise. I enjoy it most every day. This is a simple logistical question. I fly and enjoy my solo, and I've got a few batteries now. 
I've learned from you the Phantom provides more battery telemetry than my solos, such as actual voltage instead of percentage. Do you know of any solo mods to provide more detailed telemetry for the solo? The second part of the question is, how do you monitor the age of your batteries? I write the date and I place uh, the, I place it in service and the battery sequence number directly on the battery. Is there another or a better way? Again, thanks for sharing your knowledge. Keep up the good work. By the way, if people are throwing swag uh, at you uh, to give away, I'd love to catch it. Again, keep up the good work. Uh, now for a general comment about the show. I think you guys have a class act. I think it really shows a lot of style when you share the names of your production cast at the end of the show. I heard you do it once or, twi- uh, once or twice, and I just thought, man, they are really growing up. Uh, I'd like to hear it again. Thanks. I'll provide my address now. Please edit that part so that it doesn't go on the live show. So it doesn't go on the show because he heard that one time. Did. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, we me- yes, we messed up, Rich. You're right, and we apologize for that again. But anyways, thank you for the question. Um, definitely going to leave this one to Paul. And we definitely have a great production staff. They're awesome folks. They really are. And I actually want to make a new outro Um giving the claim to fame to the people who make this happen, which yeah, is true. So definitely. Uh anyway, that's John Dennison, Sam Casaus, I can't ever say his name right. But um Rob Burdick and Paul. And that's me. Paul yeah. Aitken. And Tim Ray. And Tim Ray. Who actually helps out as well. All right. Couple couple points here. Uh there is n- really no way to get more information out of the app Uh, at least out of the solo app. I will say, though, Rob, I really do love flying the solo. You know, it's not the best for video. Uh, For photos, it's great. And just to fly and rip around, man, it's a lot of fun. It's fun. It kind of rides like a racer. It really does. Yeah, no, it it, it truly does. Um, Anyway, that being said, uh, it took us a lot of time to truly try and find out how we can get more information out of the solo batteries because, as Rich said, there's just not that much information through the app itself. Now, if you go through the Tower app, you can go into the parameters listing and actually see, you know, your battery capacity, and you can see a couple other details, but you've got to use a separate app for that. Uh, And to really find out how many cycles are on this battery and to truly find out, you know, a lot of information on it, you've got to do some true digging. There's a little port here on Mm -hmm. the battery. You notice there's three ports there, two uh, positive, negative, and one for data. Uh, Anyway... We had a friend who figured out that by using that port and our Arduino uh, and the I2C port, he could actually pull the data out of the battery itself. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a very difficult thing. This isn't something that um, you know the average person can do. I'll say it again right from him. What he said is he had a breakthrough using Arduino and reading the battery data straight off the battery using that port I mentioned, the SM. B US port uh, using Arduino's I to C port. He hadn't got everything done yet, but the main thing was that the battery manufacturer date, battery serial number, and other information was there. Hmm. Uh, and the battery information that he was able to get, which I have here, um, the device name, something I found really interesting is that the chemistry is actually listed there as well. Now, the reason we can pull all this information is because the Solo uses the Pixhawk 2 flight controller, and the Pixhawk really has a lot more parameters that we can read than even the DJI brand of flight controllers. So this is going to be a really p- potentially goofy sounding question, but what software is this being read via? How is he... Where's that coming from? So you plug it in, I get that, and then... Just like if you were to buy the DJI software, you know, you can download it from the Arduino site. Remember Okay, that, so that is the software, Yeah, the Arduino. you know, Pixhawk, before Pixhawk, there was, uh, whoa, what was the name of it? Um, do you remember the name of it, Sam? No. They were making another flight controller, and I forget the name of it, but it uses the same software. This is an open source software. Okay. You can buy it just about anywhere. Or you can get Probably it free, online. Right? Yes, it's it is free. You don't buy it, um, and you can get it very easily. But anyway, okay. back to the information that was on the battery. And, and again, this surprised me. The chemistry said lithium ion, not mm-hmm. lithium polymer. That's really interesting to me. So the batteries that 3DR and DJI are making are very different. Hmm. That I thought that was interesting. Uh, design capacity, design voltage, manufacturer date, serial number, 
specification info, and la 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 la, the cycle count. Okay. Now, in order to get this information, you've got to do a lot of digging. So I think that, you know, Rich is actually doing a really good job by just kind of writing down how many times he's flown the battery because Mm -hmm. the information is not readily available. I mean, let's be honest. But when it comes to evaluating a battery that's not performing the way that you think it should, so similar to the Phantom where you're able to look at the with the cells and how they're interacting with each other. Mm-hmm. You can't do that with this. No, you can't. Okay. Like even this morning when we were recording the other podcasts about the Inspire hack, right. you could see that that battery was bad because mm-hmm. of the differences in voltage between each cell. Right. So anyway, um, that's the long and the short of this answer. Yes, you can do it. Uh, there's not much information you can get out of the solo app itself, but you can get it out of the tower app. So um, if you don't want to try and plug things into your port all the time, you may be able to get more information out of the tower application. Uh, And again, you know, this makes sense for guys flying the solo. And Mm -hmm. then again, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, it really is a great, powerful, you know, photo platform. I don't think it's the best video platform, but as far as photos go, it is a great platform. And, you know, when they release that new Sony camera that we had mentioned in our NAB videos, you know, I think that that's going to be really cool. Yeah, we'll look forward to seeing that. So he also asked the question about how you monitor the age of your batteries. So how do you do that? Oh, for the solo batteries? No, I think he he asked it more in general. I think I think he probably understands that you fly other drones, but um, a couple things. Number one, I learned the hard way when you store them, uh, you've got to store them at the about thirty to forty five percent. Okay. Um, I write on my, um, I I didn't do this on the Inspire, but on the Phantom Two and the Phantom Three, I would actually label the batteries because I was flying them so much, and mm-hmm. now I'm gonna have to do that with the Inspire because I'm starting to get I have to get a new set of batteries for the Inspire, so I'll be marking down the old ones so what are you putting on the label just a number of the battery okay uh, and the year that i purchased the battery i got it and then you have uh, some way of tracking for that particular labeled battery what the usage has been is that Uh, i can just what i do is i just throw the battery on the drone and then plug the drone into the computer or use the application itself and i can pull all that data okay so it's very different than the solo right which is unfortunate but you know that's so these is. are these are the decisions that you've got to make as a drone pilot when you're going into business too. Like what drone is going to be the most easy and convenient for me to actually operate and right. control my business. Sure. So anyway, uh, it's a great question. Rich, thank you so much for listening in. We really appreciate it. If you could leave us a review on iTunes, man, I would love that. So just check us out on iTunes, Ask Drone You. Go to reviews, write us a review. Hopefully it's five stars. Hopefully if it's not, well then let us know why. Um, anyway, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you to everyone who writes in a question and for all the reviews. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. And this is a very short episode of Ask Drone You. <laughs> we believe that videos, images, words, and sounds have the absolute power to inform, inspire, and entertain. We reject indecision, confusion, and vanity, for they work against the community. We are united under the virtues of safety and knowledge. We are a training community of learners and teachers who encourage and energize each other to achieve greatness. We are pilots, videographers, photographers, freelancers, business owners, enthusiasts, experts, and apprentices. We are creators. We are the Drone Youth.